Look at yourself. You've got a great figure, great hair, great legs. I mean, that's what people see when they look at you. They don't see a number. I think it's a lot of fun because everybody's trying to dip their you know, finger into the fountain of youth and, or at least wonder like, oh my God, am I too old? You know, what does my husband think of me? Am I my boyfriend? Am I my girlfriend? Am I my lover? You know, like people are always sort of trying to, like I know a lot of like, you know, friends of mine that are dating people that are almost a decade or two younger and they're called cougars or whatever and um i sort of find it unfair because i think like souls connect and it really isn't about the number i mean i met my husband he's eight years younger wasn't an issue i mean sometimes i look in the mirror and i'm like <sighs> okay you know and like i and my you know my mother's married to someone who's 17 years younger None of this was planned, by the way. It wasn't like I was like looking for a younger guy, but uh, I think it's about your spirit and your energy having a connection. And um, I just, you know, I think that this show can really be interesting as long as we stay on the air and, and Darren has a chance to flesh out all the characters. My friend Madonna, you know, is sort of like the, 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 the cheerleader, the ringleader of this discussion of ageism to a degree. You know, she falls off the stage, she gets back up. You know, her, her tours have sold out already like across the world practically where, you know, and she's 56. I find her really inspiring. I think that this discussion is something that we you know women have. They're running to get Botox. How do I stay younger? What cream can I buy? I mean, it's a billion dollar business, the cosmetics industry. And, you know, can, my hair is, you know, how does it look? And do I look younger? And people are obsessed with, you know, youth.